guys, Tia Walker here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. It's do it, do it. So I got some questions from my last video um, because I am doing a giveaway and I'll talk about that later in the video. But I asked you guys what I should talk about and a lot of people wanted me to talk about happiness, being confident, how to boss up, you know, how to stop comparing yourself. And I just wanna have that conversation with you guys. So let's just do it, let me get my makeup. Okay, so I wanna first talk about being confident. And I feel like so many women and just so many men and people just struggle with confidence. And honestly, it's something that you have to work on every single day. It's not a one day thing where you wake up and you're confident and you're confident for the rest of your life. No, it doesn't work like that. It's you have to work at it every single day because you do have bad days, you have bad and weeks, months, you have storms. But I just want everybody to know, it's okay to have bad days. Like everybody in this world has bad days. Everybody in this world looks a mess at times. Everybody's mind is a mess at times. You know what I mean? No one is perfectly perfect at every given moment. You see these people on social media and I like to reference social media a lot because that's reality to a lot of people. So many people are stuck on their phones and they think social media is so real. And I'm just like, <laughs> It's literally just posting your best moments. The majority of people aren't posting when they wake up and they got crust in their eyes and boogers in their nose and hair all messed up. And like, people aren't posting that, you know what I mean? People aren't posting the unfiltered posts on social media. People aren't posting when they're working hard and grinding and crying those nights where they're just tired. The majority aren't posting when they're going through the deepest, darkest moments of their lives, you know what I mean? So you cannot compare yourself to this image on social media that is filtered especially women I feel like women compare themselves so much we compare ourselves to filters we compare ourselves to surgery to weave to makeup like no one really looks like that so why are you really comparing yourself to these images you know what I mean like people like to say they don't love themselves they think the grass is always greener on the other side when really the grass is fake and i really love that how are you comparing yourself to something that's not even real so we have to get real with ourselves and we have to stop comparing ourselves because honestly i feel like that's number one we compare ourselves and that's why a lot of people don't have confidence because you're steady comparing yourself you can't compare yourself because that literally is the thief of joy like say you get a car right like you you hype you got this new car you got this new mercedes you got this new Toyota, you got this new Dodge, like you got this new car, it's fully loaded, it's nice. And then you get on social media and somebody else posts about their new car. It's a Range Rover, it's a Porsche, it's a Lamborghini and your whole mood is different now because you don't have this Porsche, you don't have this Lamborghini. Like, why are you comparing yourself? You was hype about this car. You know what I mean? Like, you were so happy, you was proud of yourself and now you see somebody else got a different car, a more luxury car, a more expensive car, and now you sad. And now your, your mood has changed. Now you feel some type of way. And it's like, girl, you better enjoy your life. <laughs> you keep looking at other people's lives, you will never, ever, 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 ever be happy. Like, it just can't happen, you know what I mean? You have to look at your life and be content at that moment. We all want better, we all want abundance, we all want more success, more money, but we have to really love who we are in this moment. Today does not come back around. We're not gonna get another October 13th, you know what I mean? 2020, we're not gonna get another day. So we better enjoy this day. We have one life to live, this life right here, is rented for a certain amount of time. This body we have is rented for a certain amount of time. Like we only have one body, one mind, one life, and we truly have to enjoy that. Enjoy our life. Enjoy what the creator has given us. God makes no mistakes. You can't tell God he made a mistake. God makes no mistakes. He made us who we are for a reason, and we better appreciate it. Cause you know what? There's always something to be thankful for. There's always something to be grateful for. Like our situation could always be worse. You better thank God for your health. If you are watching this video right now, you better thank God you can hear, you can see. If you can't hear, you can see and you can read. If you can't see or read, you can hear. You better thank God for things in life that really matter, you know what I mean? You better thank God. Once you start to really appreciate what you have for real, like <laughs> when you sit there and think about what you have versus what you don't have, you will truly 
truly have joy in your heart and your spirit. Like, <laughs> we are blessed humans. You gotta know it. This foundation is super light. It's my first time using it. But, oh yeah, I need a different color. I hate that we can't test foundations in Sephora anymore. But, mm, I don't really know how I feel about it. I feel like we just gotta know that we're different. Our paths are different. I feel like, <sighs> We compare ourselves so much to different people's levels in life and our time might come in a year or two or the next month. You have no idea what this person is going through and how they got what they have and you're just truly comparing yourself to them. Verse, meanwhile, this person you're comparing your life to is comparing their life to somebody else. If you compare yourself, there's always gonna be something you can have. You're doing yourself a disservice by comparing yourself because there's always gonna be somebody more beautiful than you, richer than you, somebody with a better car than you, a better body than you, more hair than you. No one's perfect, you know what I mean? Like you will never find a perfect person. I don't know if I'm gonna really like my makeup today because honey, I'm trying new products and it don't, it's not look, ooh, it's not. <laughs> I'm trying the Rare Beauty and it's not looking that great. They said like it was good, but I don't know. It's not doing me any justice. I feel like also, and I'm gonna reference social media again when it comes to comparing yourself. I'm sorry if I keep getting like all up into the camera. Let me move this stuff out the way. When it comes to comparing yourself, I feel like we get a lot, a lot of our comparisons from social media because and in rural life as well. People at work, people at school, whatever the case is. But I feel like when it comes to social media, if you're Compare yourself to everybody on, on your timeline. Why are you following these people? If these people make you feel that bad about yourself, why are you following them? You know what I mean? Like, unfollow and mute. I'm the type of person, like, I, I will unfollow you. If it's not doing me any good being on my timeline, like, why is it there? Like, don't follow people that make you feel bad about yourself. You know what I mean? If anything, follow, th follow people and pages that make you motivated and make you feel good about yourself. And that's why I really love to post positive encouraging things on my social media and if you guys was to look at who i follow on instagram like you will see i follow a lot of positive motivational pages on instagram and i don't follow that many people because honestly like i don't try to focus on people's lives i try to focus on my life i feel like you have to be careful with what you're indulging in and what you're taking in because what you put in your body what you put in your mind is gonna come out if you're on the shade room and you looking in the comments and you just get feeling good about talking bad about other people. That's literally what's gonna come out. That's literally how you're gonna feel about yourself. And don't get me wrong, we all do it. We all feel insecure. We all love a little drama here and there, but like literally, you cannot put that negative garbage in your body, in your mind all the time. Cause literally that's what's gonna come out. It's like you are what you eat. You're indulging in all this negative and garbage, unhealthy things what do you expect to come out of that like nothing good comes out of that but when you are reading self-help books when you're watching videos motivational videos that make you feel good about yourself that make you want to get up and get out and work and grind be happy when you do more things that make you fulfilled you're going to be happier that's what you're going to get out of life you're going to be more motivated you know what i mean you're going to be you're going to help yourself more like you can't be the same person like you you can only grow by reading self-help books by watching motivational videos by going to church by growing spiritually mentally emotionally you only grow by eating that healthy food you know what i mean so i feel like that's super important hang around people that make you feel good about life say you have a friend and you're jealous of your friend why are you hanging around her it's gonna make you a fake person in the end you're gonna be preying on this person's downfall in the end like you're literally gonna start to become a terrible person work on yourself before you be around somebody that you are jealous of and sometimes you don't you're jealous and you don't even want to be jealous i don't think jealous people want to be jealous i truly don't think people want to hate themselves or have a lack of confidence i think people want to love themselves i truly do i think people don't want to have hate in their heart i feel like People want to be good humans. It takes more discipline to be a nice, good 
human. It does, it takes discipline. You have to work at it um, because we all have these weak moments. Like if it was up to most of us, we literally would just watch gossip pages. We would watch reality TV. Like it takes discipline to really do something that's gonna help you. And it takes a certain type of mindset. It takes discipline to get to that mindset. I mean, once you have that mindset, it's not as much work staying there, but I feel like you have to work at it. Also, ooh, something else I wanna talk about is how much power we give people, how much other people's validation matter to us. Why don't we love ourselves? And I say ourselves, but I'm just trying to like, you know, speak as like, you know, everybody that needs more confidence. I feel like, how do I say this? People seek validation in others. It's like other people's opinions mean more than our own. Like we we want this validation so bad and it's like, why? Because honey, everybody is not gonna like you. Most people in this world, they not gonna like you. And you better really like yourself. You know what I mean? Cause you have to live with yourself. You go to sleep by yourself at night. You don't go to sleep with all these other people's opinions. If you go to sleep with all these other people's opinions, that's a terrible life to live in. Sorry if I'm rambling as well. Um, sometimes I just be having all these thoughts and I wanna get them all out at once. But um, we do ourselves a disservice when we truly seek validation from everyone. Why does somebody telling us that we look beautiful today make us truly feel beautiful? Like we should already feel beautiful, you know what I mean? Why does someone saying, oh, you're bugging it big or make you feel like, oh, okay, like I'm a little, you know what I mean? Like my confidence level just boosted times 10, you know what I mean? Like. It's nice to hear those things, don't get me wrong. Okay, so my friend, she has uh, this clothing line and it's called Praise Her. The meaning behind it is basically like, women, we grow from praise, right? And we do, like it is what it is. We grow from praise, but we should start praising ourselves first because then those other people's opinions wouldn't matter as much. You know, the positive comments are amazing, but honestly, their comments outweigh the way you truly feel about yourself. Someone saying, ooh, she not cute, could just ruin your day. And you don't want someone's opinion of you to just ruin your day completely. You know what I mean? You gotta have that confidence in yourself to be like, I know I'm fine. At the end of the day, it don't matter. Like, you don't gotta like me. You don't gotta think I'm beautiful. You don't gotta think this. I know at the end of the day, I'm bomb AF. And can't nobody tell me differently. I mean, that's just a different feeling when you just, in your heart, know that you are amazing. That's why it's so important to have self affirmations because I feel like until you truly believe in yourself, you really got to tell yourself these things. Like in the morning, wake up, tell yourself you are beautiful. You know what I mean? Tell yourself you are made in God's image. You are perfect the way you are. You really got to tell yourself, you got to be content with yourself and talk to yourself because women, we do, not even women, just men, people in general, we, we grow from praise and who better to praise you than you? <laughs> you start there and I feel like it'll grow. Just tell yourself, hey sis, you looking good today. Hey sis, I see you today. You know, you wanna like what you see when you're looking at you. Seriously though, um, you really wanna like yourself, you know what I mean? When you love yourself inside, you really start to treat everything around you. Everything around you starts to grow, you know what I mean? You'll treat people better. You'll treat yourself better. I mean, it starts inside and then it'll resonate in your outer appearance. I don't know how I'm feeling about Rear. I don't know. I didn't watch any reviews on it. I just saw a lot of reviews about it, so I don't really know what's going on. But yeah, I don't know if I should let this sit for a second, but we truly have to stop being mean to ourselves. Like, why are we so mean to ourselves? Like, that don't make sense. The world is mean already, you know? It's enough meanness out there in this world. Why would we be mean to the one body we have? Why would we not treat her better? Why wouldn't we eat healthy, feed our mind, take care of ourselves we need to also with like the opinions of others not necessarily the opinions of others just anything in life i know a lot of people like to compare insecurities to basically like when people get surgery for instance people like to say oh this girl doesn't love herself and i feel like when it comes to confident being secure it comes from within there's always something we could want to change about ourselves but we have to truly focus on what we truly love about ourselves when you focus on something that you truly don't like. 
about yourself, it magnifies, right? Like if you're having a bad day and you're just like, oh my God, I'm having a bad day, more bad things happen, right? Cause you're magnifying that. Like you keep thinking about it and you're magnifying it. So something negative is gonna happen. But if you look at yourself and be like, you know what? Wow, girl. Yo, hair growing. This is getting a little fuller. Your skin clearing up. Like, yes, girl. Okay. Like, you looking good. You looking radiant. You looking happy. Like, you know, say things that are positive. Think about what you love about yourself and just dwell on that. <laughs> Don't dwell on any negative thought. Just be positive. Like, when your surroundings are positive, when you start to think more positively, that's what you're going to get out of life. Positivity. Like, everything around you is going to grow. So, I feel like you just got to focus on being positive if you feel like you're just a negative person as well i feel like you need to catch yourself every time something negative comes out your mouth um catch yourself you know what i mean i want you to really try to not let one negative thing come out your mouth <laughs> meanwhile i'm about to say something negative about this guy's I feel like I'm rambling because I have so many thoughts. You see me putting on makeup right now, right? And it could be like, oh, she's covering her insecurities and like, she don't love herself. I don't feel like makeup is uh, you don't love yourself type thing. Now, once you take off the makeup and you don't love yourself, don't let your confidence be conditional. Don't let your confidence come from a man. Don't let it come from your friends. Don't let it come from makeup. Don't let it come from your body looking a certain type of way. Don't let it come from getting fillers or surgery or weave makeup none of that confidence should come from yourself first because like you're gonna keep trying to find happiness and confidence and all these things be nice to yourself first and foremost it's because a man it's not gonna make you happy honey because let's just say it don't work out and now you depressed because you put your happiness in this person that's why it's so important to love yourself before getting into a relationship that's why your parents or they teach us growing up like love yourself first because you won't put your confidence and happiness in a person and you'll put it in yourself. You make yourself happy. Also, when it comes to confidence, I feel like if it's something you can change about yourself, do it. But if it's something that you just truly can't change, like you better learn to love it. Dwell on what you do love, what makes you happy. Okay, so another topic was like how to boss up. And that's a good, you know, answer. I think that also goes into like what I was saying about confidence. Like what you take in is what comes out. So like start investing your time into positive things. You know what I mean? Like stop investing your time into drama focus on positivity focus on self-help anything that has to do with self-help indulge in that affirmations are everything you know what i mean tell yourself you are a boss with confidence girl you could do anything in life anything in this world a boss up in general i feel like you have to truly care about yourself sometimes bossing up you gotta just kind of seclude yourself sometimes and take that time and be selfish and focus on yourself do what you've always wanted to do if there's something that you always wanted to do but never got around to doing it do it you have regrets when you don't do the things that you want to do in life but you don't regret the things that you did so if you wanted to start that business start that business because you will literally resent yourself if 10 20 years go by and you didn't start that business you'd be like dang like you know where i would have been at in life if i would have started that business if i wasn't scared if i had the confidence to start that business you know what i mean so i feel like do it seclude yourself stop focusing on other people's lives and just do it for real for real that's what bossing up is like doing the things that make you happy whatever makes you happy in life do it if you want to go on a business um venture do it take those chances gamble and do it yeah this is this is it right here um you got to get out that comfort zone you've been in for so long do something that makes you uncomfortable i feel like that's when you know you're truly growing when you just get a little like uncomfortable like you're a little nervous to do it scared you don't know what the outcome is going to be that's when you're doing what you should be doing when it's helping you and you're doing it for yourself don't try to boss up because you just got our relationship and you you want to show this guy like i've seen it happen where women Men get out of a relationship they want to try and boss up because they want to prove to this guy that oh I'm a boss and then the guy starts to see you doing better and want to come back and then you go back to this guy and now you're in the same situation because you didn't do it for yourself I feel like when you want to truly boss up you got to want to do it for yourself and once you really 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 want that for yourself you are gonna be unstoppable with discipline and consistency. Honey, you can do anything in this world. 
loving yourself, liking yourself, doing things that make you happy. That takes discipline and consistency. You gotta do it every single day. My makeup is starting to look a little better. I don't know how I feel. I don't really like that Rare Beauty foundation. Maybe I gotta try it again, because I feel like sometimes I try makeup and it just didn't mix well with something. It could have been like the primer or something. But I asked you guys on Instagram about this foundation and some of you guys said you liked it and I'm trying to see how. My makeup don't look bad though. I don't know, I'm gonna try it again though. I literally just wanted to talk to you guys, so that's why I'm doing my makeup. Might go to Target. <laughs> I try to give you guys like a different setup today. <clears throat> Ooh, the giveaway winners. Okay, so if you guys got this far, thank you. <laughs> um, I am doing a giveaway in every video for the rest of the year. So if you guys don't know what I'm giving away, I am giving away two boxes, two winners every single video of like luxury makeup, some drugstore makeup, like skincare, hair care, all that good stuff, you know what I mean? Um, so if you guys want to enter the giveaway to win, make sure you read the description box down below. So one of the giveaways for the last video is I'm sorry because I'm about to butcher this name honey I'm sorry in advance Tashila Relaford okay and then the next giveaway winner is Jada Walton so congratulations to Jada Walton and Tashila Relaford okay so if you guys do want to win um, make sure you check out the description box down below make sure you tag your Instagram when you do comment down below because that's how I will contact you. Ooh, so I want you guys to comment something about yourself that you really love and then make sure you tag your Instagram because that's how I will contact the winner. So comment down below what you truly love about yourself. Make sure you thumbs up this video and you are subscribed and we will see who's the next winner in the next video. So yeah, that is the giveaway. Something positive. We just want some positivity in the comments down below. <sighs> we need that energy, give it to us. I'm like, do I even wanna finish my makeup? I'm not gonna finish my makeup, I don't think. I just wanted to get out here and talk to you guys. I really love this mascara. Like the Benefit, they're real mascara. Like it's such a good mascara and I don't have lashes, so. This is like pretty awesome. And I love it for the bottom and top lashes. I feel like I'm not the best at putting on mascara. KKW New 2. Something super natural today. And that's it. Hold on, let me do my little bang yang. Got that bang yang. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something out of it. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and thumbs up this video. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.